let's look at an example now. So this is obviously 82 fat sat image and uh, I'll scro scroll through the images and uh, do you see any abnormality? Well, you can obviously see several small bow loops and they appear to be adequately distended and show thin walls. And let's look at the terminal ileum. Do you see any abnormality in this area? Well, look at this terminal ileum. This segment of the terminal ileum shows abnormal wall thickening. Compare it with the wall of an adjacent uh, small bow loop. You can compare with the walls of these small bow loops. Do you see a difference? So when you spot an abnormality like this, consider the possibility of uh, abnormal small bowel wall thickening and the next step is to measure it. So this is about 0.8 centimeter, definitely above 3 mm. So the question I want to ask myself, is this small bowel loop adequately distended for me to call it abnormal bowel wall thickening? Well, yes, it is adequately distended. But please beware that uh, if the bowel wall thickening is too significant, for instance, if it is above 15 millimeter, then it might not be because of inflammation. There could be some malignancy in the bowel, in the small bowel. For instance, lymphoma can produce significant small bowel wall thickening as well as uh, dilatation. So uh, if the bowel wall thickening is too significant, think of alternate pathology. So what else do we need to assess when we see abnormal small bowel wall thickening? Well, the things that we can mention on our report and discuss in detail include the measurement of the wall thickening, which I just did, because um, measuring the wall then would give us a reference point to compare with the subsequent imaging to see if the bowel wall thickening is reducing or increasing after a certain type of treatments. So this can help us assess the disease status.